started loading in, you know, we did it yesterday. This is our first production of our US leg. And, and sometimes all this gear came from New Jersey, the PRG lighting gear, and how we deal with it. Claire Brothers, we use globally, we use PRG globally well. But again, we got a production tech out this stuff. He's got to repatch a new desk. Oh, wow. All kinds of stuff dealing with sound. We're still working with John on his mic because you know this is the first uh, time because all the oh, everything sorry. gets mic'd up. Every little oh. instrument on stage gets mic'd up. It's great. <laughs> and we'll see how our sound engineer and they're just working with one sound, but but that's how Elton is. With one sound during a song, one highs of this song, one the chimes, the his Nigel snare drum. It's mic'd up and it better sound damn good or the boss is not going to like it. Oh no. <laughs> it's all about music. I always, I always, this whole tour I'll talk about his music and how he's so dedicated to it and, and the funny thing is those are all microphones. Those are all mics up there that are patched in to a MC box, a, a microphone control box, MC7, MC14, MC whatever. They have all this little setup, and I'm willing to go up there, I'll show you how they do all that. And this is what you hear up there, that sound system, what he brings out every time. And, and one thing bad about our sound engineer, I'm sorry, young lady. <laughs> and she don't drink. She don't drink. Right. She's she not going right into those tables right there. Yeah. Oh, buddy, there you, you got to do your work. Awesome. And this is Kevin. Hi, Hi Kevin. Hey, Kevin. How you doing? Him with the lighting designer. Many moons would go get together and they get this light, you know, and kind of gets it comes on. See the color that, that him and the designers just talked about to make for that song. Philadelphia Freedom has a different look. On the really brilliant man, that kid right there. He's uh, he uh, takes care of the media server. He really works oh, wow. with with all the stuff with the lighting. He's a really tech savvy son of a gun. Let me tell you. Does he work in Vegas on that? Production? He works. No, he yeah, he comes to Vegas, but he works with Elton globally. Oh, lovely. There's about there's about 14 of us that go global everywhere. Elton. Okay. Beautiful. Come over here before we go on stage. How you doing? Hello. Hi. So, this is the top when we go on stage. When we do get on stage, uh, there's that umbilical cord. There's even a umbilical cord where Davey's at. Just be, uh, act line guys are the worst once they get things fine checked. You know, don't even breathe on it, it might mess up stuff. <laughs> well, yeah. They are so funny and so superstitious about things. And then Elton John's lovely piano. And if you don't take pictures of everything, it's your own fault. Okay, you can, right. you can tell Kim we would be messing with his keyboard. Yeah. Right. That's okay. And all these different things, and, and there's a reason why, two reasons why we have a low stage. If you notice, our stage is only four okay. foot tall. The biggest reason, is that Elton has to have a direct line of sight for that guy right there at stands, and we'll look at him in a monitor engineer. He's got to have a direct line of sight. And if the stage is six foot tall and he's up higher and he's down on the ground, he'll never be able to see Alan. And he's got to be able to see Alan because, again, his voice command. You'll hear Elton, you'll see Elton sometimes say, more voice, less Nigel. Take Nigel out of my mix. <laughs> You know, sometimes I like tempo. That's <laughs> <laughs> right, that's right. <laughs> and all that good stuff. And he wants to bring up more. Bring up more music. Bring up the instruments. He'll tell Alan. Alan takes care of the sound on the stage. And because Elton does not use Pioneer monitors, he just has these wedges screaming. You know, he has these two for his vocals and these back here for the, uh, the, the band. Yeah, he does not use in-ear monitors. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Excuse me. Now, one other thing I'd like to bring to your attention. Claire Brothers, who Elton John is Claire Brothers' oldest client out of Lenox, Pennsylvania. 
They have their global, they have Jans in Sydney, Australia. They have the uh, audio rant with their brothers that's in uh, Switzerland. So they're global. And only Bruce Springsteen, Lady Gaga, all the, all the big, I, these have the big S4 cabinets, the big speakers. The last year they've gone to this new array system, which is just is amazing. Wait for the sound. And then these subs pushing 9,000 watts per sub. But he directs it really well at front of house. And this, the sound is unbelievable. Those are the subwoofers. And I hang three up there, too. Wow. And then, That's cool. You know, and all these, you know, you can see these articulate bridles to fit the PA just right 30 foot off center. Wow. I mean, there's things are specifically done. These points here have to be 26 foot off center in a line. They might be intelligent lighting, but they have to be in that position where they're at. So there's a lot that goes on. There's a lot of different departments that help put a show together. Lighting, sound, video. Then you have your stage manager, rigger, and carpenter that helps choreograph everything else. He's the man. He, he's the man. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. Too much? taking our pictures, I'll just give you a little bit of feedback about this piano. And Yamaha, well, I've heard this before, but Yamaha digitally engineers and makes these pianos for help. What's the piano's name? Sorry. Yes, I'm yes. sorry. No, no, that's a good one. I should know that already. Is this Nina? I believe this is Nina, after Nina Simone. Not Mrs. Atwood. No, Mrs. Atwood, Jennifer, she, she stays over in England. Yeah. Her and Kay. And then we have her and Aretha here in America. And then the red one, uh, Nikita, usually stays, it travels around the world. She she comes out for special things. He, we used her for the show we just did in Monte Carlo, in France. Not to jump ahead, is this the, what set is this? This is a whole new set. Oh. It's gonna have a lot of the same songs. But as far as A set, B set with the uh, drums oh, and all. This is our well. This is, we have an A and a B system, which is over there. This is our Las Vegas, our million dollar piano. Oh, okay. This is this is the uh, the oh, lovely guitars, the better guitars, Nigel's drum kit, which I'll talk to you about about, and Ray Cooper. Oh, Ray how's Cooper's he doing? With, he's Man. with us on set. Awesome. He's with us on this on tour now. Cause he. Uh... He's better. He's healthy. He's awesome. rocking and rolling. Just celebrated a birthday, I think, yeah, right? Yes, he On sure Monday. Did. I've seen him with Elton in 75. Right oh, on. man. He is this and then in 76, he was sick, and Elton said he's recuperating. Uh -huh. He's used upon <laughs> A lot of them in the 70s are recuperating. Yes. yes. In the 76, especially. Wow. Close years. In 76, Elton used to. <laughs> A little bit too much. Yeah. And he used to pick these suckers up. Bam. Wow. And break them. And get pieces away. Awesome. Dennis, get me another <laughs> chair. Give me another bucket tonic. There you go. But the one thing unique about this piano and all of Elton's pianos are the black keys. Now the black keys are all they have this really tall, archy, beveled position on it. The Japanese call it a sharding of the ivory, the ebony keys. Sharding, C-H-A-R-E-D. What that word exactly means, but it has that arch beveled position. Because most concert pianos are really edgy. Because those, you know, they're like this all the time. He's rolling and popping it. And this left hand is over here just giving it, you know, so this prevents him from cutting his finger. And he likes it. And, and then the white keys are really short because his strong little round fingers get over the black. You see that? That's why they're they're beveled like that too, that's so he gets over the keys when he's playing. And that's all set up for him. Last shot. Now, although we got a full stage and everything, but there's a reason where Elton is at his position. Nigel is at 22 foot off center and he's six foot stage left of center, his center line. There's a reason why Kim is always right here. And you might have noticed already. <laughs> so I can watch his fingers. <laughs> Kim is right here, so he can see Elton's fingers. 
He's playing Philadelphia Freedom. He's got his. He's got to be dun, 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 right when he's you know playing. And if the boss is playing quick that night, he's got to play a bit quicker, or he's got to slow it down. And everybody feeds off of him and him and his baby. I can stand in here in this world. Just don't touch anything. You can draw any pictures. Stand up here. Take a photo of you. Yeah. Like I said, just don't touch anything, okay? Sorry, yeah. I got Look up at me. Yes, sir. Pretend you're playing, but don't touch anything. <laughs> it's usually the sun. Right after the band intro. Awesome. Right after the band intro. Awesome. awesome. Fabulous. I'm good, baby doll. This is for you. This is all for you, sweetie. Now. I recognize the drums. That's. It is drum kit. That's what that's about. But, yeah. mm -hmm. but right here, this console, this setup right here, you'll see Kim's setup. Is their effects racks, and their different sound has a different effects. And he's got to bring that sound up. And then, as he brought attention a while ago, what system is this? And we have these other two different drum works out there. This drum works, Nigel has, is dedicated to this squadron out of the Second World War. And you can see the look over here. But just step. You good, baby doll? I mean, you got the classic extended heads for the drum works. You have the Spitfire look of the aircraft that it's, you know, mimicking. So that's the squadron out of the Second World War. And a cool picture, because y'all can stand right here. Right there. And we can get some pictures of y'all. Just don't touch the drums when you get up there, okay? Nope, and that's definitely, sit. I wish I could let you sit down in there, but that's definitely oh. a zone I don't interrupt. Ooh, because there's stick right over there anyway. I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean you've got the blonde hair, is Chris Octa. Very antsy about this world. Awesome love. Beautiful. Uh, miss, uh, this is a zone right here. And there's also a reason this why we have, uh, we have carpet on the ground. Delphine Just the don't. Carpet don't carpet don't Marley. Marley's a team.
Elton. 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 Elton.